After two Russian fighters tried to stop the drone for literally hours, an American MQ-9 Reaper has taken out the leader of the Islamic State in Syria, Usama al-Muhajir, and according to some reports, it seems to have done it with America's famed ninja bomb, or the hellfire full of swords. So let's talk about this unusual weapon and why it is so useful when it comes to trying to take out terrorist leaders in urban environments. Of course, the Ninja Bomb isn't actually a bomb at all. It's really a Hellfire missile with its explosive warhead swapped out in favor of six 18-inch blades that deploy on impact. And the truth is, this weapon is as elegant as it is medieval. It might seem brutal to use swords in 21st century combat, but this weapon, semi-officially known as the AGM-114 R9X, is all about minimizing collateral damage. You see, the Hellfire missile has been a mainstay of American air-to-ground combat operations since 1986, thanks to its high degree of accuracy and relatively low cost. But this sword-packing variant was developed by the CIA during the Obama administration to be able to take out high-valued terror targets in densely packed urban environments. The Hellfire missile's 20-pound high-explosive warhead has a kill rate radius of about 165 feet and a casualty radius of nearly 500. And that means it's really tough to leverage these weapons to take out terrorist leaders who shield themselves with civilians. But because the Hellfire R9X carries no explosives on board, its kill radius is only about three feet. And that means that you can use this weapon to actually take out a target sitting in the passenger seat of a vehicle without killing anyone in the back seat. At least, hypothetically, it depends on how the car comes apart. Now, this weapon has primarily been employed by JSOC, or the Joint Special Operations Command. And more often than not, it's leveraged by MQ-9 Reaper drones thanks to its high-altitude, long-duration capabilities. But the truth is, this weapon could probably be fired by just about anything that carries Hellfires, including a variety of fixed-wing aircraft and attack helicopters. Now, this weapon is possible because of the incredible accuracy provided by the Hellfire missile. And the truth is, there are two different forms of guidance systems powering Hellfire missiles today. The Hellfire Romeo uses a semi active laser guidance system that is incredibly accurate, while the Hellfire Longbow uses a millimeter wave onboard radar array, which means you can use it when visibility is compromised and laser guidance wouldn't be as effective. Now, the R9X is not a program of record. In other words, you won't find a publicly disclosed contract for the production of these Hellfires full of swords. In fact, it's probably a modification kit that can be mounted on any old Hellfire missile you've got laying around. And that means the R9X could potentially be guided by either semi-active laser guidance or millimeter wave radar. And it also means that these R9X kits will very likely work on Lockheed Martin's new AGM-179 joint air-to-ground missile, a weapon that's replacing both Hellfire missiles and America's arsenals that offers both forms of guidance in more than three times the range. At the end of the day, the AGM-114 R9X is a modern twist on a long-standing weapon that has improved consistently over the years and likely will continue to improve. It's also a very cost-effective solution to the problem of terrorist leaders using civilian human shields. And as brutal as the images might seem of these R9Xs tearing through cars and dicing up the bad guys, it's a whole lot less brutal than taking out all of the civilians within a 500-foot radius.